Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the springtime weather that we are starting to see uh, light of day with. Uh, today, I'm gonna be walking you through how to make a corned beef. St. Patrick's Day is coming up and uh, a lot of people make making a corned beef a really big production and a really big deal. It's not, it's easy but you just have to know the right methods and the right techniques to be able to execute it well. So without further ado, let's get started. Everything that we're going to do today to make our corned beef is going to be done right here in this crock pot. If you do not have a crock pot, then you can use a stock pot, a large pot that you place on your stove top that you're gonna keep on a very low heat. You do not want it to be on a high heat. This is a recipe that you want to be low and slow. So the first thing that we are going to add to our crock pot is we are going to add one medium to large size onion that we have roughly chopped. And you could stop here. If you have other ingredients that you would like to use, you are certainly welcome to add them. So I have some celery that I need to use. I had about four stalks that I roughly chopped. You do not have to add celery, but you can. Whatever you have, use. You can use carrots here to add to this. I don't have any that I would like to use for this recipe, so I'm not going to. Once you have your base vegetables added to your crock pot or stock pot, you are then gonna add your corned beef over top. There are a lot of differing opinions about how to do this next step. Some say take your corned beef out of the package, rinse it off really well to remove the salt from the brine, discard all of the brine, throw that away, and just put your freshly washed corned beef in. That's too high maintenance for me. I take the whole corned beef and I put it in. I squeeze it out of the package, brine it all, and I put it in fat side down. This is also another controversial step. A lot of people say put it in fat side up. The fat will then continue to render down into the meat as the corned beef cooks. However, if you put it in fat side down, it will continue to moisturize along with the meat cooking slowly. So I put it in fat side down and I put brine and juices and everything in here. Now, most every corned beef that you get from the store has a brine packet associated with it. I will simply open up the brine packet and add these seasonings on top of and on the side of the meat. Last but not least, I'm gonna take my pitcher full of water and I'm gonna add water to this but I am not going to completely cover my corned beef. I'm gonna add enough that it comes up about two thirds of the way. Depending on the size of your crock pot, this could be anywhere from two to four cups of water. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the lid, I'm gonna close this down, and I'm going to set my crock pot on high, which cooks at approximately 300 degrees. Low setting cooks at approximately 200. I'm gonna set it on high and I'm gonna let this go for eight hours. Now another controversial part. There are a lot of techniques out there that say you only need to cook your corned beef for about 40 to 50 minutes a pound. Um, this is almost a four pound corned beef. Now you have to remember, this is a brisket. The type of cut of meat of the corned beef comes from a brisket. And briskets are known for being cooked low and slow. That's how a lot of our barbecue pit masters cook their brisket, on a low temperature. 300 degrees is relatively low. 
200 is even lower. If you have all night and all day, put your corned beef on low and let it go. But if you only have the daytime, put it on high, but let it go for a good eight hours. If you pull your corned beef out and it's tough, you didn't let it cook long enough and it needs to cook longer or you let it cook long enough, but it was on too high of a temperature. Those are the two reasons why corned beef typically does not come out moist, juicy, and tender. So I'm gonna set my settings on 300 degrees, which is my high setting, and I'm gonna let this go for eight hours. So eight hours has passed, to take it out of the crock pot. So this is what it looks like out of the crock pot. And we're gonna go ahead and slice it against the grain. Now corned beef is really cool because you can easily see how the grain is running. You can see it's coming this way. So slicing it against the grain, I'm gonna slice it this way so that we get nice tender cuts. Look at that juicy, tender, it's slicing like butter. So I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make very tender, moist corned beef with me today. I hope you try all the tips and tricks that I gave you for this upcoming St. Patrick's Day. Till next time.